called the reverse entry. I am Jeff, and welcome to Brain Search, the show where you need a great memory and super concentration skills. Hello. Let's meet today's brainiacs. Cody has 25 pets. That's a lot of poop to clean up. Sydney can burp the ABCs. How proud is her mom? Liam enjoys camping, snorkeling, and riding dirt bikes in his house. Alec wants to fly jets one day, but first he has to pass Flyers Ed class. Maya is a spelling bee champion, but can she spell brain surge champion? And Kelly enjoys shopping and basketball. She made them put up a net in the food court. All right, guys, one of you is going home brain surge champion today and is going to have a chance at thousands of dollars in prizes, plus a sliming from head to toe. As for the rest of you, there is one way out of here. That's right. It's down. The Brain Drain. I'm going to head on over to the Brain Center so we can get this parquet started. Level one. Kelly. No, it's not. Nothing? I'm all clear? Yep. Good. You're good? You're good. Sure? Mm-hmm. Okay, perfect. All right, this first level is full of visual puzzles that are going to test your ability to see things quickly. You're going to use that special game pod you got in front of you to lock in your answers. And at the end of this level, the four of you with the most points are going to advance to level two. I'm feeling like we need to kick this off with a ten-point puzzle. What do you guys think? Yep. Let's do it. Let's get ready. Remember, pay close attention to these instructions. I had some time on my hands the other day, so I moseyed on over to the cattle ranch. But just as I was about to pet a cow, I accidentally sat on a hot branding iron. <sighs> Much better. So, what does the brand on my butt look like? I don't know what you're laughing about over there, Maya. Because I'll tell you one thing. That brand hurts. Let's see what the correct answer is. Oh, it was four. That's going to leave a mark. Let's see who got it right. Cody and Alec, give yourself ten points. All right. Let's play it loose and let's play it fast, because this puzzle is worth 20 points, and here it comes. I'm going to buy a dozen gumballs from this gumball machine. Pay attention to the numbers on the first six gumballs. Now, I'm going to buy another six gumballs. Which of these numbers did not appear in the first group? Sydney, talk to me about this technique. Does that work? It did. Who else used that technique? Anybody? No one. No one else. All right. Well, Sydney, you're out on your own, and there's nothing wrong with that. All okay, right. Let's good. see what the correct answer is. Oh, yeah. I'm a bubble blowing champion. Oh, there it is. It was number six. Let's see who got it right. Sydney and Alec got it right. I'll, I'll be honest with you, Alec. I was a little concerned because you waited to the very last second to put your answer in, but you got it. This puzzle right here is worth 30 points, and here it comes. Take a look at this school of fish and quickly count how many red fish there are. many red fish were in that school? Let's see what the correct answer is. <sighs> the answer is 12. Everyone got it right except for Alex who added a few extra fish. Alec, what was, what was your thought process well, I, behind 16? I accidentally put six instead of two. Right, okay. All right, Sydney, you are leading the way with 50 points. Cody, you're in second place with 40 points. And the rest of you are bringing it into third with 30 points. 
This puzzle right here, it's worth 40 points. Here you go. Ladies and gentlemen, the Brain Surge Dancers. They all have numbers on the bottom of their shoes. Keep track of which number is the lowest. What was the lowest number you saw? Let's see what the correct answer is. So let's see you got it right. Everybody but Maya. All right, this next puzzle is worth 50 points. Take a look. Okay, let's try this. I'm about to throw a baseball which has a number on it. You'll see the ball several times, so enter the number as soon as you can identify it. All right, let's see what the correct answer is. Oh, look at that. Who's making a great grab? That's right, that's me. Simeon, Alvin, and Liam, give yourself 50 points. Add them to your scores. This is our last puzzle, and as much as we're having a good time, the four of you with the most points at the end of this level are going to advance, and the other two are going down the brain grade. This puzzle is worth 100 points. It's anybody's game. Here it comes. Okay. This evil witch is casting a spell to turn this handsome prince into an ugly frog. Keep track of the frog prince as he jumps around. Where did the frog prince land? Let's see what the correct answer is and a little thing I like to call the replay. Okay, there he is right there in the middle. He jumps around. By he, I mean me. And I'm landing over in the one position. Let's see who got it right. Nobody's getting 100 points. I'm gonna keep the 100 for myself. Now, it is time to find out which four of you are moving on to level two and which two are going down the brain drain. In first place with 140 points is Sydney. We got a tie for second with 120 points and that's Liam. And Alec. Okay. There are three players left and only one more slot. In fourth place, with 80 points, is Cody. Congratulations, you're moving on to the next level, which means Kelly and Maya, you guys have been eliminated. But before we send you down the brain drain, let's find out what you've won. Congratulations, you won a SpongeBob Nintendo DS game. Interact in SpongeBob's world by customizing each game. Puzzle, race, and fight to defeat DoodleBob. The Drawn to Life SpongeBob SquarePants game for Nintendo DS. All that in a bucket of slime. There's only one way out here, and it is down the brain drain. Maya Kelly, come on down. Here comes Maya. And she's out of here. Two. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Brain Surge. I am Jeff, and I'd like to extend my congratulations to the four of you Brainiacs for making it to level two. Congratulations. Woo! Sydney, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm feeling great, thanks for asking. You burped the ABCs. Where did you learn how to do that? Um, when I was little, I was very competitive, and so all the guys, when I was like in third grade, were burping and stuff. And so I wanted to show that I could do it, and I did. You should look into the uh, Burping Olympics. It's a competitive forum for people with your talents. I didn't make it. <laughs> Liam! Your friends call you Bigfoot. Yeah, because I have big feet. What size are you wearing there? Oh, ten and a half. Ten and a half, and how tall are you? I'm like five feet. <laughs> wow. Alex! 
You went fishing one time and used hot dogs as bait. How'd he, that go for you? Um, it didn't work so well, but the guy next to me was getting a bunch of fish and he was using wieners, so. Was he using turkey I, dogs, maybe? I don't know. Cody! 25 pets? Yeah. Really? What do you got? Uh, I've got two dogs, birds, hamster, fish, you know. Usual. What was the most unusual pet you've had? Uh, we had a crab named Oscar. So it wasn't one of those giant... Oh, no, but that'd been cool. That would have been cool. All right, let's play. How about level two? Ready? On your feet. It's story time. Listen and pay close attention to the story I'm going to tell you, because afterwards I'm going to ask you some questions about it, all right? Everything that's in this book is the truth, all right? Here we go. Some people have called me a one-man band. Check out some of the instruments I've mastered over the years. I played the trombone in high school, but kept knocking off the drum major's hat. So I switched to the cymbals, and that wasn't much better. I tried playing the harmonica, but I got it stuck in my braces. So I picked up the violin and played in the subways where folks gave me lots of money. Mostly for violin lessons. I played the triangle in a symphony, but that was way too demanding. So I learned to play the cello with a saw, but I broke too many strings. I used to play my bagpipes at sunrise, but it turns out the folks in my apartment building weren't morning people. I thrashed a guitar in a group called Jeff and the Jephonics, but my bandmates and I had creative differences. I took requests as a piano player in the hotel lobby, but most people requested that I take a break. And I got busy on the turntables as DJ Jeffy Jeff. P.S. I'm available for parties. Playing the ukulele was easy. Getting this buff, not so much. And blowing the ram's horn just got me a headbutt. I played the flute as a snake charmer, but the cobra had absolutely no rhythm. And the trumpet in a mariachi group. I was known as El Jefe. Like I said, I'm a regular one-man band. That's my story, and it's all 100% true. All right, one at a time, I'm gonna go down the line and ask you guys to name an instrument that I played in the story. You're gonna lock in your answers by sitting down. If you hear this, that means you're right. Sydney, would you demonstrate? If you hear this, have a seat. Oh, Sydney, go on. You're gonna hear that and you're gonna hang on for the ride. We're gonna keep doing that until we're down to two players. Are we clear? Yes. All right, let's do it. Starting with you, Sydney, tell me an instrument. The turntable. The turntables. Bing means right. Woo! Liam. The symbol. The symbol. Very good. Alex. The violin. The violin. There it is. Over to Cody. Uh, the triangle. Have a seat. Let's find out. Back to you, Sydney. The harmonica. The harmonica. You got it. Woo! Liam. The bagpipes. The bagpipes. There it is. Alex. The flute. The flute. He's got it. Wasn't too sure, but he got it. Cody. Uh, the trumpet. The trumpet. Very good. Sydney, back to you. The pressure is definitely on. Okay. The cello. The cello. Cello, you're correct. Liam. The banjo. Banjo. Uh-oh, hang on. Woo! And just like that, Bigfoot is out of the game. Alec, over to you. Name and instruments. Deep in the story. I'm gonna need an answer. Time is running out. Um, I'm gonna go with. Name the... anything. The. Oh, have a seat and hang on. <laughs> so long, Alec. Sydney, Cody, guess what? <laughs> it's time for a knockout round. Knockout round. Behind those numbers are pairs of images from the story you just heard. Match a pair correctly, you're gonna stay in the game. I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to memorize that board right now, and your time starts now. Sydney, for your first number. Two. Two is the first one, and? Eleven. And eleven. Boom. Jeff and Bessie are off the board. Cody, to you. What's your first number? Fourteen. Fourteen. 
We're running a sale on that. Seven. And seven. El Jefe. Thank you very much. Sydney. Um, one. One. And 15. And 15. Oh, okay. Sydney got it wrong. This is what happens now. We are in sudden death territory. The next correct answer moves on to the final round as the Brain Surge champion. Cody, your first number. Six. Six. Eight. And eight. Congratulations, Cody. You're the next Brain Surge champion. You're moving on to level three. Nice job. Sydney, you're going to have to have a seat and hold on. You played great, but so long. Cody, you're moving on to the final stage. How awesome is that? That's awesome. Put it right there. That's what I'm talking about. You're going to have your chance at thousands of dollars in prizes, plus a sliming that you are never going to forget. Let's see what Liam, Alec, and Sydney won for making it this far. Congratulations! You won a Southern California City Pass. Southern California City Pass is a discount booklet of admissions to Disneyland, Universal Studios Hollywood, SeaWorld, and San Diego Zoo. City Pass saves. There's only one way out of here, and it is down the brain drain. Liam, Alex, Sydney, you guys ready? Here comes Bigfoot and he's out of here! Here comes Alex! Finally, Sydney is on her way! Making great time! Exit out that way! When we come back, we'll see if Cody can find the path to victory on level three. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Brain Search. I am Jeff. This is Cody. You might remember him from the first two levels where he won them. Yeah. yeah. Hello. How are you feeling about that? I feel great. Yeah. You ready for this? Bring it. Because this is the final stage right here, Cody. And you win here. You're winning thousands of dollars in prizes, plus a sliming you'll never forget. Level three, the final stage. This level has three parts. Each one's more difficult than the last. It's your job to memorize the light pattern that appears on the floor and recreate it by stepping on the right squares. For example, if you step on the right one, it's going to look like this. However, if you step on the wrong one, that's going to happen. You want to avoid that. If that does happen, you come back here and you start all over. Once you complete the first path, you're going to stop the clock by stepping on that button right up there. All right? Then the floor is going to expand to a 5x5 five five grid, where you'll see the second path. Complete that path, and then you'll have the hardest path of them all. We're going to open this dance party up to a 6x6 six six grid. Here is what you could win. Complete the 4x4 four four and win a digital camera. Print and share your photos instantly with a 10 megapixel digital camera and the Polaroid Pogo Instant Mobile Printer. All from Polaroid. Complete the 5x5 five five and win a computer. The Lenovo computer comes with a one-year membership to Kid Zooey. Kid Zooey gives you access to over a million kid-friendly games, websites, and videos. Complete the 6x6 and win a Lake Tahoe getaway! Retreat to Lakeland Village Resort in Lake Tahoe. An all-season beach and mountain resort with skiing, mountain biking, hiking, horseback riding, and many more lake activities. All right, Cody, and this is it. I put 90 seconds in your back pocket. Why don't you put that up on the board? Boom, there you go. Here is your first path. Pay attention, because you'll see it twice. There's one, and there's a second one. The clock will start when you make your first step. All right, good luck. You're so close. Shake it off. Shake it off. Here it is. Here it is. There you go. He knows. He's, this means I got it. Oh, no. All right. There it is. All right, stop the clock. Boom. And just like that, you got yourself a camera. Nice job, Cody. Up, top, down, low. Oh, there it is. The 5x5, five five, as promised. Here's your second path. Take a look. Okay, you're going to see it one more time. And you have 66 seconds left, and the clock is going to start again when you make your step. You ready? Here he goes. Sliding. Hold that. All right, 
Here it is again. He's off. Getting about halfway there. You have 45 seconds left. Mistake you made last time, I think. You see, the, you see where you went wrong? Yeah. There you go. He got it. Oh! You only step. Make sure you step on the button. Make sure you step on the right button. Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off, buddy. Keep your head in the game. Keep your head in the game. You got 15 seconds left. The crowd wants it for you. The crowd wants it for you. Yes, 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 yes! Woo! Come on back, hustle back, Tony. Not, hey, dude, don't be disappointed with that. You got yourself a laptop. I hope you like typing. And you got eight seconds left to get this final <laughs> pass. That's fine. I've, crazier things have happened, Cody. This is for all the marbles. This is for the, the trip to Tahoe. This is for the sliming. You can do this. You can do this, all right? Keep your head in the game. Here's your final pass. One more time. You're gonna have one shot at this, okay? The clock is gonna start when you make your first step. Whenever you're ready, good luck. Here he goes, eight seconds. Go, go, go! Oh, Cody, come on up here! Come on up! Dude, you did awesome. You did awesome. You got a new camera, which is going to look great next to your new computer. Am I right? Yeah. It's awesome. And I can't let you leave the normal way, because there's only one way out of here, and that's down the brain drain. So why don't you head right on over there, right. warm it up. I'll meet you over there. Thanks for watching. That's all the time we have on Brain Search today. Tune in next time when six new brainiacs go head to head to head to head to head on an all-new Brain Search. Thanks for watching Mayfield, New York. At her new school, Tori's made some new friends. I'm not your friend. And one major enemy. And on Sunday... I'm going to pair you guys up to prepare a fight scene. Tori and Jade... Tori and who? They're going head to head. I can't wait for our fight. And one of them... Scene... ...is going down. Go. Don't miss a new Victorious, Sunday at 8, only on Nick. So she gets an A- and I get a broken eye and a black nose. Thank you, man. I know what I meant.